day people, this is Sharpino here, welcome to you to episode number 2 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Aglock. If you guys are looking forward to the series and you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, Sharp Squad, make sure you smash the like button down below, because as always your support is greatly appreciated. Now, it's been a while since I've filmed the first episode because obviously I had to go ahead, hunt the eggs and get this Let's Play start. Now you guys, you guys, pulled through with 63 eggs. That is... It's phenomenal. So, uh, a lot of you sent two eggs, only one person sent one, which was, you know what, I don't care. If you want to send one egg, that's absolutely fine. But we have 63 eggs. That should be enough to cover us here. So, if we do go, need to go ahead and actually get more eggs, um, if, you go, if you guys want to go ahead and send more eggs, your eggs will be put in a second slot, which means that once the first 63 eggs are used up, then your eggs will be sent in. So, I mean, if you want to send eggs, you're more than welcome to. I've been giving out shiny Dialgas as rewards for those who have been sending eggs. Um, but yeah, so we've got 63 eggs. Today is the day we get to officially induct and meet the new crew that we'll be using. Now, I did skip the Wally segment because we need the PSS to go ahead and do the egg trades and everything else. So we've got everything already started, ready to go. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and got everyone listed that sent eggs. Um, do not worry, at the end of the Let's Play when I do the review, I will give each and every one of you that sent eggs a shout out because uh, honestly I do appreciate you guys sending the eggs and I hope you guys enjoy the shiny Dialgas that I gave you because Dialgas is my favourite legendary. So we've got the list of every single person who sent eggs here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, I'll just get the document up. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a number randomizer right here for 163. So much like I did my modify egg lock, I've got every person sent eggs in listed from 1 to 63. I'm going to generate a random number on this uh, randomizer, and whatever number that is, I'm going to select that egg. And the what I'm going to do is once that number is given to me, I'll say who sent the egg, and if they have a nickname or not. Now a lot of you guys didn't want to give nicknames, which I, I, it's cool because I don't mind nicknaming Pokemon, but it just it, I just think because it's your Pokemon, I think you should give it a nickname just so you guys can feel a part of the Let's Play as much as it is you know just me doing this Let's Play because I want you guys to feel a part of the experience because that's what it's all about. So let's go ahead and uh, hit this number randomizer because the first Pokemon we're going to swap out is the starter, which is the Mudkip. So let's go ahead and randomize the number right here. Here we go. And the first selection for the egg lock is number 23. So let's go ahead and have a look at that document. Egg number 23. That was sent in by Craig Dunlop. Uh, this egg has no nickname. So let us go ahead now. So we'll go ahead and mark that as used. So let's go ahead and go to egg 23. Hack this egg. Now. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and hatch the eggs, and as I hatch the eggs, I'll change the layout of the video. So as you can see, the shiny Dialga's there. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so egg number 23. So let's go. So that's 18, 24, 23. All right, so that's going to be our first egg. So what I'll do is I'll be right back as soon as we hatch this egg. And let's see what our first Pokemon's going to be for the Alpha Sapphire egg log. I'll be right back. Uh, hold the press, I didn't even have to leave the Pokemon Center. Uh, this egg is ready to go, so let's go ahead and see what this egg is. Egg number one, no nickname, we have no idea what it's going to be. The first Pokemon for this egg lock is going to be a... Ha <laughs> ha! Trico! Trico! Awesome! Alright, so our first Pokemon for Let's Play is ironically another Hoenn starter. It is Trico. So let's go ahead and give it a nickname for Trico. I actually like this nickname, I'm going to call it Mokujin, and if you guys get the reference for that name, then you're awesome. So that's our first egg, it's going to be Trico, let's go ahead now and take a look at the Pokemon. Now, I know the bomb screen looks a bit glary, I don't know why that is, it's the capturing card, but if you guys know a way to fix that problem, leave a comment down below and I'll give you a shout out for saying thanks for helping me with the problem. But let's go ahead and have a look at this um, Trico. It has Unburdened, so Hidden Ability, that's pretty cool. Uh, with Pound, Leer, and Leaf Storm. Oh, so it gets... Wait, it doesn't get contrary. No, I was going to say. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Leaf Storm, that is uh, that's pretty powerful, and it's a adamant nature as well. So, um, okay, so clearly it's trying to let us use it as an adamant nature. Now, I do have 999 rare candies, which I will use 
to bring the Pokemon up to the same level as that Pokemon. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe Mudkip was level um, level 8, I believe. Let me just quickly double check that. Mudkip was in fact level 7. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the red candies we got here to bring Mudkip, uh, Mudkip, this Trico to level 7. So it's kind of ironic that we start with the Mudkip and we end up getting given a Trico as our first starter. So I'll eventually add Mokujin and Lance Absorb. Fantastic. So we've got Leaf Storm, Pound, Absorb and everything else. So that's our first selection. Now the next Pokemon we're going to swap out is the Poochiana, which I believe is level 5. So let's go ahead and get our number randomizer up once again. Generate another number. Da -da 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 -da. And the second Pokemon is going to be number 35. And number 35 is... Sent in by Larissa Sousa with the nickname Princess Ice, which has got me very interested because I really wanted to be a Snorunt. So let's go ahead and have a look here. Oh, also, also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Mega Stones I will import into the game because what I want to do is if I can go ahead and use a Mega in the game, because it's only going to be done on X and Y of this game, we will try to use the Pokemon as best we can with the Mega Stones. Now, also with uh, stones and um, with trade evolutions and all that. Once I feel the Pokemon is high enough leveled and everything else that it's achieved everything it can as its second form, I'll try to evolve it into its third form. Now, if you guys think that's cheating, leave a comment down below and tell me that I should not do that. And if I get enough support from you guys to say don't do it, I won't do it. But if I didn't hear anything from you guys, I'll go ahead and take that as you guys allow it. So, Princess Ice, egg number 30. Five. So let's go ahead now. So that's 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is egg number five, 35. So let us uh, return once Larissa's egg, Princess Ice, is hatched. We'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back and we finally got Princess Ice hatched here. Man, I'm really going to import something like a something with Flame Body or something to make hatching. A lot easier because this egg took a long time to hatch. But let's go ahead and see Princess Ice. Now, if I was to have a guess what kind of Pokemon it could be, I would say it's either going to be a Smoochum or it's going to be a Snorunt. One of the two I hope is going to be. But let's go ahead and see what our second Pokemon is going to be for this team here. This, what's it going to be? Ooh, it's a Marwile. I was not expecting that at all. But Princess Ice, uh, maybe because it destroys ice, but, um, okay, so Princess Ice is the name. Actually, there's enough space for it. Princess Ice the Marwile. That's actually uh, pretty good because we've I've never had a Marwile before in a Let's Play or Trico, so... Definitely getting the variety here. Let's go ahead and see, check out this Marwile here. As Intimidate. Now, it is a relaxed nature with Growl, Fairy Wind, Astonish, and Sucker Punch. So it's got those egg moves. Really good to see there. Thank you very much, Larissa. Is it Larissa? Uh, yes, Larissa. Thank you very much for that egg here. So let's quickly go ahead and red candy this thing up to level 5, because that's what it was replacing. It's replacing the... <coughs> Replacing the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, um... And the thing is we can get a Marbleite somewhere around here as well, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Fake Tears? Nah, we're not going to use Fake Tears. Alright, so that's our second egg. So let's go ahead now and get our trusty number randomizer up, because now we're going to go ahead and swap out egg number three, which is going to be the low pad. So let's go ahead and get a number randomizer up. Where are you? Over here. Alright, generating the number... And the number is going to be number 45. And number 45 was sent in by Jesse Bosworth. And he told me to nickname this one after me. So um, I don't know if we've got, we'll go Sharpina or Chris. We'll go Chris on this one. So we'll go ahead and find egg number 45. Egg number 45, which we're going to call Chris. So let's go ahead and, um, uh, let's see, so just the nickname Chris, so egg 45, so that's 35, 36, 42, 
43, 44, 45. Okay, so here we go. We've got this egg over here, over her. And we'll be right back to find out what Chris is going to be. We'll be right back. Oh, all right, so we're back and we just hatched this egg and my god, this egg took forever. I actually imported a Volcarona with flame body to try and have, help me hatch these eggs quicker, but my god, this egg took so long. If I had to guess what this egg would be, I would guess it's a lot better because it took so freaking long to hatch. But let's go ahead and see what this egg is. Egg number three is going to be named Chris. Thank you very much to, um, to Jesse Bosworth and it's going to be a... Um, can you get Fionis and eggs? Hold the phone, let me just check this just for one second. Just, I want to double check. Can you actually get Fionis and eggs? Uh, okay, so apparently Fiona can breed. They can only breed with Ditto and no other Pokemon. <sighs> Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I'm at a loss for words. I didn't know you could get Fiona in an egg. So let's go ahead and name this Fiona Chris. I have no idea. I have never thought you could hatch a legendary. Legally, at least. Uh, shit, we got a Fiona in the Let's Play. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and get Fiona to level 3. Shit, I didn't even think you could get, like I said, Fiona in the egg. I thought, hang on, legendary? I mean, it would pass through, so it's legal, but, uh, shit. Uh, uh, okay. So we got a Fiona in a Let's Play for the first time, a legend hatched from an egg. Let's go ahead now and get another randomizer up so we can get the fourth member of our egg. We're going to replace the Zigzagoon. Let's go ahead and get that number randomizer up and the number's going to be... Number 62. Number 62, and that was sent in by Ashi, also known as Queen Gallade. Go ahead and check her channel out. Uh, she sent in an egg with no nickname. So let's go ahead and swap out Zigzagoon for egg number 62. Let's go ahead and swap that around. Egg number 62. So 30, 60, 1, 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap out for... Actually, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, Fiona has Bubble Water Sport with uh, Naughty Nature. So it's increasing attack, decrease special defense. Uh, with hydration so shit we got ourselves a fiony so we'll go ahead and um hatch this egg here egg number 62 sent in by ashy also known as queen Glade. so we'll be right back to see exactly what kind of egg we have in store for us we'll be right back okay so we're back we've got this fourth egg he hatched thanks to ashy queen Glade. go ahead and check her youtube channel out she's pretty cool Let's go ahead and see what egg number four is. No nickname, no idea what it's going to be. We got surprised with the Fiona, and let's see what this egg's going to be. It is a. Ooh, it's a Lilith. Now that is some interesting power right there. Lily. Let's see, what's a good nickname for Lilith? It's grass and rock. Hmm. I'll call it Palm Springs, just because, you know, Palm Springs, just fits, perfect. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our next two encounters, but let's go ahead and check out Palm Springs, the Lily, over here. Suction Cups, it's got a neutral nature, and it has Astonish and Constrict. So, Palm Springs, the Lily. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and put, um, we'll put our, our, our egg hatching Volcarona back in the PC, because we won't actually need him for battling or anything. So, we'll put you down over there. And we'll go ahead and bring up Lily. 
to level four because it's replacing the um, the zigzagoon. That was the zigzagoon. The level four zigzagoon. So let's actually go ahead and um, let's put Chris out front because Chris is the lowest level out of everyone here. And let's go ahead and get our next two encounters and we'll come back, get our next two encounters, hatch those. And then we'll try to get through this episode. Because I, I know it feel, this episode feels like it's been going for a long time because of the egg hatching and everything else. So, alright, so our encounter for Route 104, I believe, is... Let me just go ahead and check it. Check it, check it, check it. 104. So, yep, so 104. It's a level 3 Zigzagoon. So, let's go ahead and go for... Wait, let me check the stacks of... Um, I don't know if a special attack is ridiculous or anything. It's nine. So, I don't know if a bubble might be too much. So, we're going to go ahead and swap out. Let's bring out Palm Springs because I don't want to kill the Zigzagoon. I want to make sure that we do actually get this encounter because... Um, well, first off, we resist whatever it is. We can't use Astonish, so we're actually going to go ahead and just constrict this Zigzagoon to death. So... We resist that because we're a little leap. Alright, so let's, let's try something else, okay? Uh, what moves does Princess Ice have? And it's a... Oh shit, her stats are incredible. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to Chris, and I'm going to try to bubble. Hopefully the bubble's not enough to kill the things again, because I really don't want to lose this encounter. I really don't want to. But Bubble is the only offensive move we have, and Chris is our weakest Pokemon, so hopefully this Bubble will not kill the Zigzagoon. Oh, okay, great. So now the only thing that's going to screw us up here is if we do in fact get a crit. So, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and try to catch it with the Pokeball right now. I mean, it's half health. Let's have a go. One, two. Okay, I guess not. So... Uh, Alright, so we're going to go for one more bubble and cross our fingers we don't crit this Zigzagoon or get a high roll. I'd rather low roll right now. Okay, great. So we got down to red. Fantastic. Alright. Down to the red. Alright, so let's go ahead. Pokeball it up. Attempt number two. It's now in the red. We should have the Zigzagoon. No problems. One, two, and three. Yeah! Alright, so we got ourselves Zigzagoon on Route 104. Even though it's dupes, it really doesn't matter because we're going to swap out this X anyway, so... Now let's continue through here. My Pokemon is staggering tired. I should have bought a potion. Will you get this Pokemon potion? Absolutely, because that's what we're all about. Well, what the thank you, sir? Here, have a potion. Hopefully your Pokemon feels better. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, my Pokemon made a complete recovery. Glad to hear, kiddo. Glad to hear. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get our encounter and just go ahead and get these encounters. So this is Pelleberg Woods. Encounter, 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 encounter. And our encounter for Pelleberg Woods is... Another Zigzagoon. It's Zigzagoon's everywhere. Zigzagoon. Level 4. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for a bubble. Now I'm a little bit worried because our, I mean, it's one level higher than the last one we met. Wow, he eats up those bubbles like it's nobody's business. So let's go ahead and go for a bubble. Wow, it doesn't even take it to yellow, wow. Uh, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and heal up Chris. Let's heal him up because we want to get him down to the yellow at the very least. That's four. Okay, so we will have one health. I don't want to take any risks on the crit or a high roll, so we'll just heal up on the off chance. So we're going down to yellow. He's going to go for another growl. Chris putting in all and putting in all of the work catching his Pokemon. Let's go ahead, poke ball it up. Let's go, Pokey Ball. One. Jeez. Mm. 
One more bubble should not kill. Let's go for a bubble. Hope for no crits. Let's hope. Yeah, we're back in the red. All right, so let's go ahead. One more Pokeball. This should now catch the Zigzagoon with no problems. Being in the red, let's do this. One, two, three. All right, so for Petabook Woods, we caught a yet another Zigzagoon. And we're going to level up on Chris. Woo! Way to go, Chris. Do that level up. And we're not going to nickname the Zigzagoon, we're just going to proceed forward. Now, we could burst the trainer, but I want to wait until we get a full team first, full squad. Squad squad. Full sharp squad. Before we go ahead and verse him. So let's go ahead and head back to Pedalburg so we can go ahead and swap out this Pokemon. Now, let's go ahead and get another number randomizer up going with a Whirlpool. Whirlpool! So let's go ahead and generate another number. Let's just... Oh, wait. Okay, we're going to battle this Whirlpool. Okay. Sure. And the number is number six. Number six. So let's see who number six was sent in by. Number six was sent in by Thomas Samosi with no nickname. So thank you very much, Thomas, for your egg. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this Wormpool because we could get some experience for Chris over here. So we're going to swap out the Zigzagoon from Route 104 for egg number six sent in by Thomas. Thank you very much, Thomas. Critical hit! We got a critical hit! Alrighty, so Chris is starting to look pretty good there. But now, look at the team so far. We've got two grass types, a grass rock type, a grass type, a steel fairy type, and a water type. So the coverage is not too bad, to say the least. So let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and heal up these eggs. And catch, catch, catch these eggs. So, Zigzagoon over here with a revive. We'll take that revive off him. Egg number six, which is this egg right here, egg number six. And we'll go ahead and leave this down here. There we go. Alright, so we'll be right back with um, egg number six hatched by Thomas. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. We've got egg number five sent in by uh, Thomas Samosi. So once again, thank you very much for your egg. Let's go ahead and see what this egg is. Let's see if it's going to be power. I mean, we've got a Fioni on the team. Like, what the hell? Two potential Megas, a Legendary, Palm Spring for the Leap, and now an Eevee. Aha! Very nice indeed. Now, the problem is, I don't know what to call this Eevee because we don't know what nature or what kind of Pokemon's going to be based off what it is. So, Eevee. What's a good name for every kind of Eevee evolution? Just trying to think of a general name for Eevee. Uh, because it depends on nature. Because if it's a defensive nature, then obviously it could be anything from a Leafeon to a Glaceon to whatever. If it's like, you know, Timid, it could be a Jolteon or Espeon or whatever. So... What is a good name for Eevee? Uh, think if I think. We're going to make a decision. We're going to make a decision now. Let's go. Alright. I want to see if I can try, based off our current team, because we've got two grass types and a ground type. So, color weakness I can see on our team at the moment. Uh, let's see. What well, fighting is neutral? No. Electric? No. Let's go ahead and try to make this a an Espeon. Oh, let's see if we can try and make this an Espeon. So what's a good nickname for an Espeon? Let's go ahead and call it, let's see, Espeon. Espeon, Espeon. Actually, no, hold on, no. Let's make it a Sylveon. We haven't had a Sylveon. This is 6th gen. We're going to make this a Sylveon. So let's go ahead and think of a good nickname for a Sylveon. Let's call it Graceful. That's it, Graceful. That's actually a good name because Graceful could be any kind of I guess type of Eevee, Graceful, really. So let's go ahead and check out this Graceful Eevee that we've got here. Let's see what nature it is. It is a timid nature, like I thought, with a runaway. So it doesn't have adaptability, so uh, I don't think it would get... Let me just quickly check um, 
Sylveon, because I think Sylveon is hidden ability is is Pixel 8. Let me just quickly double check that. So I think its primary nature is Q Charm, Pixel 8's hidden ability. So yeah. So mm, no, we'll, we'll still call, we'll, we'll still go with Sylveon. I'll, I'll still go with Sylveon because this is sixth gen. So I think why who better to have on their sixth gen Let's Play, even though we are in third gen. So we're going to go ahead and make this a level 3 EV. Of course, it would be better if it was, you know, obviously, adaptability. But you can't argue what's already been done. So thank you very much, Thomas, for your EV. Now we're going to go ahead and pick another Pokemon for our level 4 Zigzagoon that we found in Petalburg Woods. So we'll go ahead and just put, um, we'll just put EV down here for the time being. Because now we need to go ahead and take this potion off. Um... So let's go ahead and get a number, number, number randomizer going. Let's go. And the number picked is going to be number. Okay, uh, number sixty-one. Number sixty-one. So right after that, that sixty-one. That was sent in by Ephraim, who you guys might know as the Talent Typhoon on YouTube. Make sure you go ahead and check his stuff out. No nickname. Egg number sixty-one. So let's go ahead. And see what kind of Pokemon we have here. So let's go ahead. Egg 61. So it's right behind this egg here. So let us go ahead. Where does Ziggs again go? Ah, here it is over here. So let's go egg number 61 with the quick ball. So we'll be right back to go ahead and see what Talon Typhoon. Thank you very much for your egg. Let's go ahead and see what kind of egg he sent us. So we'll be right back and we'll see what kind of egg to expect. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we got ourselves here number egg number six, number 61 sent in by Ephraim. Go ahead and check his channel. He is pretty cool. No nicknames. We've got no idea what this egg is. And the final member for our team is going to be a... It's a Dano! Ah! Alrighty, we got ourselves a Dano! Woo! Turn up in the comment section. For Dano! Ah! Alright! We got ourselves our mascot! Dano in the house, ladies and gentlemen! Woo! Alright! Thank you very much! Ah! Alright, so... It's only appropriate we call this Sharpino right here. Dano! Oh my god! Dano is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Alright, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out this Dino. Oh my god, we got Dino! Ah! We got Sharpena the Dino here. With a modest nature, we tackle Dragon Rage, Head Smash, and Earth. Whoa! The, the moves on this. Oh my damn! Oh my damn, this, this is going to be... Uh, forced to be reckoned with. So let's go ahead and make him level 4, which is the level of the Zigzagoon that we were replacing here. Also, by the way, I did max out um, Eevee's happiness and friendship so that the next time we go to level up uh, Eevee, it will become a Sylveon. Just because I really want to have Sylveon on this Let's Play. Oh my god, we got a Dino! Ah! <laughs> this, is, this is actually one of the Pokemon I really wanted to have in this Let's Play because from Gen 5 and above you could have Dino, but everything beneath that you can't have High Dragon. So, um, we're going to start heading up to the first city and then we might just wrap it up as we head to the city because this episode, um, for me, it's taken me almost two hours just to do this episode. So, let's... Uh, oh. Graceful trust shop here with a good strategy. Yeah, because that's because of its max friendship. Let me just check. Hold on. Is this in the right spot? There we go. Just, just, just adjusting that. But it's all good, folks. It's all good, folks. So, it does have charm. So, we do have the fairy type move. So, all we basically do is level up Graceful once. Whoa, that was a critical hit! What a bitch you think is good, you asshole! You freaking asshole! Let's go ahead and swap out for Sharpino! Sharpino in the house, yeah, yeah! Sharpino in the house, yeah, yeah! Dino! 
Boom! Dana in the house, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna oko this Zigzagoon with a Dragon Rage. Is this Dragon Rage? This Dragon Rage is gonna be so OP! So OP! Goodbye, Zigzagoon. And Grassley gets level 4, so... We're gonna see it right here, it's gonna be a beautiful, graceful, evolving into the beautiful Sylveon, ladies and gentlemen, because we wanna have a Sylveon this Let's Play. Obviously you can't do it in the next, unless you're an X and Y or Horus of this kind here. So let's go ahead and see a beautiful Sylveon appear right here. You beautiful thing, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and adjust the Sylveon here. So first off we'll change the egg type, you know how we're going to do it. This is how we do it. There we go, so we got ourselves a beautiful Sylveon with us in the team. This team was absolute power right here. We've got a Sylveon, we've got a Dino, we've got a, we got Trico as a starter, we've got a Fioni, we've got a Marwa, we've got a literally Pump Springs. My gosh, man, this team is absolute power right here. So let's go ahead, let's see who needs a bit of training, because everyone's a little bit, you now. we'll put you in the back, we'll put, um, Let's put Palm Springs up front because Mokujin and Princess Ice are the highest level in our team. Okay, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Just on the rich guy. <laughs> so here we go, he's gonna send out a Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon! This episode is full of Zigzagoons. Out goes Palm Springs! Actually, I don't know why I sent him Palm Springs, because Palm Springs has got no good moves except Constrict. That could really hurt us. So let's go ahead and swap out for... Uh, Dano, so Dano can go ahead and go, that's level 8 as well, oh shit, we actually need to train up a Pokemon here. Hmm. Well hopefully, uh, Sharpina can live a hit from a Zigzagoon. He's just gonna growl, thankfully. I forgot that these Pokemon are so high leveled. Level 5, go Sharpino. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop whoop. And Palm Spring goes level 5. And learns assets. So now he's actually got an offensive move. So that is pretty good indeed. So at least now it has a move. So we're going to continue. We digress through. Man, I did not know that the Exigum was going to be level 8. Like crap, we could have actually lost to that thing. But we'll go through here. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go go, my bug Pokemon. So we've got Bugcatcher, Lyle sending out, and Wurmple. Wurmple! Wurmple! Out comes our Leap. So we go for an Acid. Does a little bit of damage, but you know what? It's all about training up your Pokemon at the start because we've got quite a powerful team right here. We've got ourselves... I don't need to go through it. You can all see it there on the screen. Just the absolute power on this team right here. So thank you very much to the six people who sent us eggs, and we will hatch more eggs as we go along, as we encounter new areas. We'll obviously go ahead and hatch more eggs, give more nicknames, create, flex our creative muscles with our nicknames there. I actually thought it was pretty smart with the Palm Springs there for um, the little leap, obviously because, you know, it's a giant palm tree, the way I see it. And we kill the worm pool, and oh, also, experience share will not be used, only... Um, Oh yeah, we're going to swap it over to Set as well. So we're going to go ahead and swap over to Set. So what will happen is our Pokemon will remain Set. So um, we won't have opportunity to swap our Pokemon. We'll just keep them as And the heal rule that I've had in place, except healing statuses, we'll only use two, a max two potions, a maximum of two potion heals per battle. I think it's fair that way because I don't want to go ahead and have a giant store fest here. Um, now, grinding montages. Now, I've never done a grinding montage before, but I'll start doing it on this Let's Play because apparently a lot of you guys do like watching some grind montages, but if you guys don't really care for grind montages, uh, leave a comment down below saying, <clears throat> we trust you, we don't care about the grind montage. So, our speed at lowest, we're just dropping acids on these wormholes all over the place. Palm Springs taking in these worm, beating down these wormples here. Wormple, wormple, wormple. 
But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this team. Uh, leave a comment down below, tell me uh, what your favourite member of the team is. But while we're here, question of the, of the day is, what is your favourite Gen 3 Pokemon? And you guys will know my, my question, my answer is going to be Metagross. How, I mean, what, what better Pokemon there is there than Metagross? Metagross is just absolute power um, in this gen. So my vote goes to Metagross. Um, but funny how we have quite a few Gen 3 mons in this here. We've got Marwild, we've got, um, you know, Trico, uh, Lily, I think is Gen 3. If, uh, uh, I can't remember if it's Gen 3 or Gen 4. Uh, you might have to fix me up in the section, but, uh, but yeah, then we've got Gen 4, uh, the Fioni, Gen 5, the Dano, and Gen 6, the Sylveon. So, we got quite the array of 4, 5, and 6 in here, which I was afraid you guys would send because I noticed a lot of Let's Plays, all the eggs, um, they're all Gen 3s and Gen 4s. So, fast, set battle style. So basically we can't swap out now. So let's go ahead now and we'll swap over our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put, um, let's put Chris out front. Because Palm Springs is level, uh, level 6 now. We'll continue through here. We've got another encounter. But we're just going to go ahead and just beat these Pokemon as we go along. So we can try to power up our Pokemon as we go along. I can't believe we've got a Fioni and a Dana and a Sylveon. Like what the hell? I mean, I could have easily changed Grace, I mean, all we'd have to do is we have to wait till Charm gets knocked off, and then we could have made that into an Espeon, which, I mean, based off our typing, it probably would have been too bad, just because we would have a different type, but because it's a Gen 6, you know, Let's Play, I wanted to try to have Stilbeon, because you don't really see Stilbeon in Let's Plays, and I mean, you, you really don't, so I thought I'd go ahead and let Stilbeon have a bit of time to shine in this Let's Play here. And Chris getting that experience. Good job, Chris. You go, you go, guy. Guy. I mean, it's a Fioni, so it's ungendered. So we'll continue through here. Here we are, the scientist here. Hmm, not to be found. Hi, hello. Have you seen any Pokemon named Shroomish here? I really love that Pokemon. That was not bad as a fighting uh, Breloom. <laughs> I'm gonna ambush you, but you have to dawdle in Pedalbug Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. Now, you, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers! Hey, uh, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've gotta help me, please! <laughs> so what do you think you're doing? Uh, you're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. You wanna battle, buddy? You got it. We've got an ace team right here. Let's do this. First member of Team Aqua, Grunt, versus a Poochiana. If only we had Graceful at the start, but I mean, Graceful doesn't have any fairy type moves besides Charm, so. Level 9. Ooh, that high level. So we're going to go ahead and go for a bubble. See how much damage it does to Poochiana. I think next episode. Oh, God, that did nothing. <gasps> so let's go ahead and swap out for. Princess Ice, because Princess Ice is going to have a better matchup. I mean, that tackle did 7 damage, like holy shit. But Princess Ice is a relaxed nature, we do get the Intimidate off. So, you know, this Marwal should be able to handle this Poochiana with no problem. So, let's go ahead and go for a Fairy Wind. Now, even though it is a special attack, but it is a Fairy type move, so it actually would have a better time against this Poochiana. Wow, there we go, Marwal, there we go. There we go. You want to howl because you can't beat a Marwile? That's too bad. We're just going to kick it. Ah, but the sand attacks now taking the effect. So, we're going to keep going for the fairy winds here. We land it. Alrighty, down goes the Poochiana. Good job, Princess Ice, putting the smackdown on that Poochiana. Level 6. Whoop whoop! Princess Ice in the house, ladies and gentlemen. And Chris goes to level 5. Great job. You crazy scrub. Yeah, thanks to the people who sent the eggs. You guys. Yeah, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we at Team Aqua also have something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for it today. Phew, <laughs> <laughs> that was awfully close. Uh, thanks to you, he didn't rob me my papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. Experience it. So we'll go ahead and turn that off after this. Here. 
The experience here is a super high-tech device. I have to strain very few fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on and battle experience will be shared by all party Pokemon. Please give it a try. And with this, I will restore your Pokemon's health. That's another technical advance that I'm proud of. Well, this down we can start training all the other Pokemon that were a bit weakened. Ah! Didn't that Team Aqua say, Thug say they had something after Rustboro too? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be waiting t wasting time. Almost couldn't read there for a second. So let's go ahead and swap around the party now because everyone's got a bit of experience. Let's go ahead and put Graceful out front. Because now Graceful is our weakest Pokemon. If you take Buck Pokemon to school, you get to be insane, instantly popular. Why? This is Volcarona, I would agree with you on that one, but, like, a Ninkata? Like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Go, Graceful! Ooh, look at that Graceful Ribbons. A waiting shop is, because she loves me so much, you know, because I just made her just fall in love with me. I mean, who doesn't want to fall in love with me? I'm a lovable guy. I love to be, you know, happy, 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 happy. I did not read that. Whoa, it did nothing. Oh yeah, it's level 8, that's why. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap in for Chris. Because Chris has got a super effect. Wow, you did great out there. You return. Go, Chris! Because we've got such a strong friendship with, um, with the Sylveon. You know, she's all about the love. All about the love. There we go! You're going to harden, but it's not going to do you any good because we're just going to bubble the crap out of you. <laughs> See that Fiona's laughing. <laughs> you wanna harden up? <laughs> Down goes Nikata. Down he goes. And Chris goes to level 6. Good job. And Graceful gets to level 5. Yay! What's my stand attack? Uh we'll just keep you as it is. Oh crap. Forgot to take the experience here on. And uh Mocha Jin reaches level 8. So that is a good. Alright, so let's quickly um Go to options and turn off the experience share. Oh wait, it's items. What am I talking about? Options. Uh, experience share off. There we go. We'll only use the experience share when we're grinding up. We found an other. Great. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and we're finally out of Pedagogues Woods. Yay! Ooh. This is Pilbert Recon Team checking in. I'm afraid that I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. That's not good news. The mission is a no-go. It's a little something cropped up and got in the way. Okay, roger that. Got it, will do. I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Hmm, phew. But that kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Hmm. So, we sure we've got some backbone. Oh, we've got this gardener. Well, we must have been fated to meet. Can I ask you for a battle? Ah, uh, but battle. Okay, so we don't even get to say yes or no, it's just, ah, battle! Things are good! Ziggy, Ziggy, gets get Ziggy with it, ba ba bow So, uh... Level 10, oh my god, man! Calm the fuck down, Jesus! Let's go ahead and swap out for Mokujin, because Mokujin is our strongest Pokemon. All these Pokemon are all high level, we definitely need to train up our Pokemon. You want to growl, no problem, we'll just go for a uh, Leaf Storm, you know, because that's what our egg moves tell us. Leaf Storm attack! Ooh, we did get the kill, wow, okay. Our defense has been lowered, so let's go ahead and go for a Pound. This Pound should be enough to take out... But she's got a full restore! Well, excuse me! Wow, that does nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go for another Leaf Storm. Let's see how much damage the Leaf Storm does now that we've got the special attack reduction. Ugh. I'm not liking these tail whips, so let's go ahead and swap out now for um, Princess Ice, because Princess Ice. Could take on this uh, Mokujin with no problems. Oh, this Mokujin. This Zigzagoon. Get Ziggy with it. Z Ziggy with it. Get Ziggy with it. God damn it. Would you stop it with the growl and tail whips? God damn it. So we'll go for a sucker punch, expecting him to attack. Ah. Uh, 
Can we not, please? Let's go for a fairy wind. Because I'm going to think now he's going to growl. Yeah. I thought so, because you can tell this zigzag going to be a little bitch. Ooh, that was a critical hit. So, okay, the zigzag just wants to do nothing but just reduce our stats. So we're just going to go for a fairy wind. And just KO the Zigzagoon, so get the fuck out of here. Alright! Mokujin goes level 9. Wants to learn Quick Attack. Awesome, let's take out Leo. Because you are going to be, you are Adam and Nature, so... We'll keep Leaf Storm just because it's the best Grass-type move he has. We can make like a mix, I guess. Now, I believe Sylvia doesn't get her first very type move, offensive move, until like, uh, I think level 9, I think it's Draining Kiss. So, let's go ahead and, uh, first Haley with a low pad. Go, Graceful, I know you can do it. You, we, we have such a strong bond. She looks back at us, uh, hey Sylvia, hey, good girl. Away in directions, that's just how strongly she feels for us. Let's go for a tackle because this Lota has the same level as us. Wow, that was a good hit. I really need to read that because I'm just like skipping past it. But because our friendship is really strong with um, Sylveon, everything comes about afterwards. It's so in sync, it lands a critical hit. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. So apparently a feature is if you have a strong friendship, uh, you're just laying crits. Oh, Who knew having a friendship with a Pokemon did more? So Graceful goes to level 7, which is great job, great job. Shroomish. So let's keep on going with those tackles. Wow, that didn't do nothing. Ooh! Oh, that's nasty! Oh, that's nasty! Ugh! 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 That is nasty on so many levels. Let's go ahead and swap out for Sharpino. Man, what a bit that Shroomish is. God dang it. That was a normal hit. So we're going to go ahead and go for Dragon Rage. Give himself some full health, but I doubt it's going to make a difference because Dragon Rage is going to pwn your ass. Ugh! Bitch! Dan goes to level 6. Whoop, 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 whoop. And Graceful reaches level 8. Yay. The only problem I have with having Dano so early in the game is that it doesn't level up until like the 50s. That's the only thing I could say I could argue for getting Dano this early in the game. But on the bright side, we get Dano this early in the game. So we can't really be angry about that whatsoever. So um, let's go ahead and go Chris and Sharpino. So we'll start with those two. Got a double battle coming up. We're twins, so we battle Pokemon together too. All right, we're gonna battle Pokemon. Alrighty, so twins Gina and Mia send out a Lotad and a Sea Dot, and we're sending out two a Legend and a Suedo Legend, Charpedo and Chris. So let's go ahead and go for a bubble on Sea. Oh, apparently, apparently it's both of them, but I'm more worried about that Sea Dot going for Bite like it just did now so go ahead and go for a bubble it's going to hit both of them it's going to be quad resisted by low tad oh that low tad's going to go from absorb but these dragon rages should take care of these two with no problems aha <laughs> and dana gets level seven absolutely awesome Everything is awesome! Everything is awesome! We got a Dana win the bony! Whoop 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 whoop! Now we have speed the low tad and a dragon rage is enough to get the kill on the low tad because nothing past level 10 has over 40 health unless you're a Snorlax. Level 7 or a Chansey or a Blissey or Mega Happy. But we defeat the, the treats. The twins! <laughs> Where is this? Let's get a fisherman's secret. What, you don't know me? No, I don't. 
So we've got three Pokemon, it's a Magikarp. Magikarp, Magikarp. Go, Chris! Let's go for a bubble attack! It's resisted, but this Magikarp can't do no do shit to us. Can't do no shit to us. Why are you so happy? Well, honestly, so happy to be with us. So it looks like Bubble's gonna be a three hit KO. Oh, okay, maybe a four hit KO. God dang it. Well, let's go ahead and swap out. Who needs some training? Let's go ahead and send Palm Springs, because now Palm Springs is level six. Uh, we need to get Palm Springs up to level seven, try to catch up with everyone. Because before the gym, we'll try to get everyone up to around level 12. Around level 12. Go for an Astonish. <laughs> Another Magic Hub. Surprise! Acid. It's, what's the point of splashing? Chill out, man. Have some acid. <sighs> so leave a comment down below, like I said, tell me what your favorite gen, third gen Pokemon is. Tell me how you guys are doing. Catch up with me on social media, at Twitter, at Facebook. Links are always in the description of my videos. Down goes the Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp. Give me another magic cup. Magic cup. Magic cup. Magic cup. Splashing about. Can't handle this acid. But that splashes might get more ferocious as we drop more acid. Magic cup. Magic cup. Magic cup. Magic cup. Calm down, magic cup. Magic cup. God, God. Okay, so we're definitely going to get the kill on this magi, magi, magic cup. Magic cup. Magic cup. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to Rustboro City, we'll heal up, and that will be us for a second episode. My god, what a terrific second episode it is. I mean, meeting the team and everything else, like, oh my gosh, man. So here we are in Rustboro City. Rustboro City. Oh, it's, it's May. So, you made the Rustboro too, Shalpino. Look up in the sky. The whole city. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Rue can't even compare. Well, we're a town. That's a city. A city's bigger than town. Oh, and Sean Peter, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to catch it, take it on my, with my team. See you later. There she goes again. All right, so we'll quickly go ahead and grab some items. That determined expression, that limit where you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell it just by looking at you. I'm sure you'll be able to be capable of putting this hatred to good use. No need to be monster or shy. Go on, take it. So we're going to hate to one cut. Alrighty. But we're going to earn the stone bats first. Well, of course. Now, interesting thing that I saw when Jay did his Wonderlock. There's a little secret game... Oh, it's not a glitch, but it's just a secret game here. So, over here, my dad's a real ace to the Devon Corporation, I'll have you know. It's no wonder I'm an ace myself. Here, I'll give you something that an ace trainer like me uses. So you get this floatstone. Now, here's the, here's the here's the little thing here. If you have a Pokemon with hold a floatstone, its weight will be halved. Although, it looks like it will be a while before I can use something like that, as well as I can. So, we got that, and then we get ourselves a Premier Ball. Now, watch what happens when we leave the room and come back. So, you see an ace trainer, looking nice, prim and proper. Go ahead and talk to these people up here. See if we can get something else. Likes rare stones, great. Rare stones, great. And look at that, he's no longer an ace, he's now a hiker. Oh, for some reason I put a lot of weight recently. That's the whole secret with the flag stone. So... Uh, kind of a game thing, I know. I didn't actually know, like I said, until I watched Jay, JYT Gamer, do his Wanderlocks. Go ahead and check his channel out, because he's absolutely awesome. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll save up here, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll do a bit of grinding. 
Get everyone up to level 12. We'll go back to the forest. And we'll get everyone up around the level 11, 12 mark area. So, I will say thank you very much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, because I know I definitely did, and you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And in the next episode, we'll catch more Pokemon, hatch more eggs, and hopefully we'll land the first gym badge, because... That's what we're all about. We're all about hatching those eggs and beating those gym leaders. So, until the next time I see you guys, as always, I'll say stay safe, stay sharp, and catch you guys all next time. Later!